All right, everybody, welcome back. I did forget to mention something in yesterday's video, which is why I'm making it right now, which is why I have the same clothes on because it's only a few minutes later. So once we found the device up in the ceiling, um, we disconnected those old wires. There was a Chime EOL and a Strobe EOL. So we disconnected the Strobe EOL and we put that back into the last Strobe, um, which was on the wall below the, or above the TV in that room next door. And then for the Chime, we disconnected that wire, pulled that completely out and then put the end of the line resistor in the room. What was it, 401 or 409? I think it was 401, we disconnected the chime and the ceiling, pulled that wire out, and then just put the EOL um, on the last um, chime strobe device in the hallway in room 401. So if I left you guys hanging yesterday, that's what happened. We completely took off the wires off of the device hanging in the ceiling, so no one ever has to find it again. And we put the EOLs... Um, on those last two devices in the wall, one in the room next door and one in the office that we were looking in originally in room 401. All right, so on to today's video, we did chase down some EOLs again. We did find one more. Um, and then we also discovered a waterfall in the ceiling. Um, as you can see, the water coming down the wall, leaving a water spot and the raindrops coming out of the wallpaper. So that was exciting. Uh, we did a bunch of walking and stuff because we have our big shutdown on Monday. Uh, we did find some troubles in the systems. As you can see, these blinking lights means that uh, we swapped out some of the wrong EOLs um, for some of the strobes. Um, this is the box that we did find earlier. Um, so we did swap out that EOL. That's the one that we did find today, I labeled that. Um, but the blinking lights, like I said, in the panels because were because we switched out some of the EOLs to 24,000, um, a 24k resistor and they should have been 2.2k like they were so we swapped out some extra ones and then we had to switch them back um, and that's what it looks like when it's happy as you can see uh, we made that other panel happy we switched back two of those and then once you eliminate the problems they stop blinking so we got three of those fixed all right guys so like i said we do have some more resistors that we do have to swap back from 24,000 to 2.2,000 because we switched some of some some of them out by accident so we have to switch some of them back to make the system happy as you saw the blinking lights are not a good thing um it's not a bad thing but they need to be fixed so we'll have like three or four more of those to do um and then also uh we walked the job site for the big shutdown that we have on monday um so we went over all of our tasks um i'll tell you about mine in a second but one thing on monday morning that we do have to check is we have to make sure that there's still gonna be ventilation in one of these buildings for surgeries. So as soon as 6, 6 a.m. rolls around, we have to double check that there's still gonna be ventilation in one of the buildings um, for our shutdown. Otherwise, we'll have to just cancel it and do it another day um, because there's surgeries scheduled and they have to have ventilation for those. I don't know what the ventilation is for or what it does exactly, but they need it. So if they don't have it, it's gonna be a problem. So we can't turn off the power to to their building or their fire alarm and stuff like that, if that is the case. Um, but anyways, if everything is good to go on that on Monday, then we'll go ahead and do our shutdown. My task for Monday is doing the door mag TRIs from the ninth floor down to the second floor. And then also the uh, fire alarm riser panels on the north corridor or hallway from the ninth floor to the second floor minus the seventh floor. So those are my task um, and then we walked um, the apprentices and uh, the apprentices um, task on Monday or today as well. I don't know why I said Monday. And then obviously Steve knows what he's doing because he's the one telling us what to do for this fire alarm shutdown. So we all know what we're going to do on Monday. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much the day. Um, it went pretty well. And uh, yeah, big shutdown on Monday. Yeah, if everything goes uh, if everything goes right with the ventilation for the surgery building. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, We're doing a giveaway video like right now. So stay tuned for that. Run that for a week probably. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for 15,000 subscribers. I'm super, super happy about that and super appreciative. Thank you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day and have a great weekend. Peace.